Welcome back to another edition of Fly Time with Jim Ashura. Today I'm going to start a, a new series of uh, from a different tire and a different fisherman, and that is going to be Charles Mech, late Charles Mech. He was a really good friend of mine, and I'm going to take them from his book, Pennsylvania Trout Streams and Their Hatches. And in the back of the book, they there is uh, patterns. Uh, to the flies so it's really nice that he the trout streams in their hatches he he uh, gives you the trout stream and the hatch hatches and what time of year they're they're going to be hatching on them or, and also whether they're morning hatches afternoon or evening hatches really really good book for a new fisherman in Pennsylvania and I'm in this book and I'm in several others of his and this one is going to be the deer head green caddis I tied one and I really like the, the looks of this the hook that I have in the vise is a size 16 this is a lively leg size 16 standard length hook and it's a barbless hook I'm just going to use it's just anvil uh, or unit red a uh, black and this is a pretty simple fly pretty quick to tie too we're gonna put a base of thread down make sure there and we can break that off I'm going to turn my uh, hook upside down to put the hackle or the dubbing on and the dubbing that I'm going to use this is Wapsi Life Cycle 89 yep number 89 Life Cycle Caddis Olive he wants a medium olive uh, body so we're going to use this and this is more of a an Antron blend kind of gives you a little bit of that shine now we're gonna go ahead and wrap this let me back that off there just a speck And we're going to stay about an eye length and a half from the eye of the hook. For the wing, we're going to use a medium brown uh, deer hair. I'm going to take a pinch of this. Not a lot. And it's one of the big mistakes, especially with beginners. That you pull too much. And it's really something you have to kind of get used to doing. The amount you pull off is kind of a trial and error type thing. But this is probably a, about the size of a pencil that's dull, pencil tip that's dull. I'm going to put these in my hair stacker. I clean them out with the flea and tick brush, get all of that funk, that all that under fur off. We're going to stack that, lift that up slightly, tap it again, and now there's going to be more to grab onto. We're going to tie this in with the tips forward. I'm going to grab that there. Then I'm going to measure, and we want the, the length of the hair that we're going to use is going to be just to the length of the hook shank from the bend to the tip of the eye maybe just slightly longer I'm gonna trim that off this is a little difficult when you trim it and then you have to I'm gonna trim this and then I am gonna have to switch hands but we're gonna see how we do here 
Yeah, there we go. We're going to hold that in there. I'm going to give it that loose loop. Pull it up. Pull it up. Pull it down. And then we're going to secure this. And we're going to come back about one quarter the length of the hook. I'm going to pick this up. I'm going to get all of this up. If it spins around the hook like that, like it did, it's not a problem. But we're going to try to get it, most of it on the top. Then we're going to fold this back, exposing that uh, eye. And then we're going to just wrap that in right there. Two, three, four is probably enough. Make sure that the hairs are mostly on top. There we go. Now we're going to take our whip finish. One, two, three. Take it out. I'm going to snug that up there. Snip that. And there's a couple of hairs on this, on the far side there, that were a little bit long. And I just go ahead and trim a couple of those out of there. You can see the body better now. Put a drop of head cement on there. I really like this this design there. I like that that head. May or may not start tying my own like this. And we'll put a little bit of head cement on that thread there. And getting it on the on the top there is probably good enough. Here we have a mech deer head green caddis. I like the way that, that head form there. I know it's going to float like crazy. You can tie this in 14 and 16 is what's recommended in the book. And I hope that you learned something from this video. hope that you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. If you do subscribe, please hit the uh, notify button, like and notify, so you don't miss any of my videos. Please visit my sponsors and let them know that I sent you. Leave comments, questions, suggestions. If you'd like to purchase this or any flies that I tie, go to etsy.com slash shop slash the flyman gym. And if you don't see it there, just send me a message on Etsy and tell me what you're looking for. If you could describe it, if you could send me a picture of it, I could tie it up. And most of all, thank you very much for watching my videos.